I almost have housework done. I've got to put a load of laundry in the wash and then I'm going to read. Hey, so just updating you and letting you know how this readathon for the one readathon to win them all is going and fall into fantasy. I know that starts tomorrow, but I'm cheating and starting it early. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm not, but I am. So I'm reading Furyborn. That's the first book that I have picked to read and I'm on chapter 12. It it feels like it's all over the place. I don't know if it's because I'm reading it on ebook and I don't have the physical copy here to see what's really going on page by page. Um, so it just feels like it's all over the place. We're following two different characters, which they're both pretty awesome, but it's just going back and forth, which I mean I'm used to different point of views. Um, it's just, seems like it's all over the place. I don't know how else to explain it. So I just wanted to show you that my mom came by and dropped off a book for me. I just took, it's, um, she had a library book sale yesterday and asked, you know, if I wanted any books. I just said, of, of course. And I found this one from the picture she sent me, Obsidian Mirror by Katherine Fisher. I really enjoyed Incarceron. I loved that book so much. So I'm hoping I will love this book by her too. And then I told her to get The Last Apprentice by Joseph Delaney. This is the last book of the series and it is book 13. 13. I'm kicking myself in the butt. So now I have to decide if I want to start a 13 book series. So yeah, that is how tonight is going. Two new books and chapter 12 in Furyborn. I am going to try to make a TBR video of what I'm planning to read for all this. So I hope you guys are doing good on your first day. All right, it is 10.30 at night, day one. I am on chapter 31 or 35 of Furyborn. I'm not gonna talk much because I, my throat is very, is hurting very much tonight. My kids have been sick. Um, for like the last week or two and I've caught it. So <clears throat> I hope I can talk this week. It is day two. I'm on chapter 43. Excuse my voice, I told you last night I was sick. Um, my throat hurts, my head hurts. I feel like absolute crap today. Um, I've already tried to take some Tylenol and you know, it's just blah. <laughs> um, not sure how much I'm going to vlog today, but I think I can get this book finished. I don't want to, you know, spoilers, but I think I can get this book finished today. I am loving it so much. This, by the way, this is not a YA book, you guys. This is a new adult book. There is, <laughs> there's very explicit sayings. I finished Furyborn and I give it four stars. I enjoyed it very, very much. Um, the mature scenes in it were were good but kind of cringy at the same time I don't know how to describe it and yeah this is not a young adult book at all this is a new adult so if you liked what Empire of Storms where she put that scene those scenes in which I have not read yet um but from what I've heard and if you like A Court of Mist and Fury you will like this then I think there's a couple other fantasy books that has been incorporating these kinds of scenes um yeah it is not young adult yeah especially if you don't like romance this is not a book for you um there are it's constantly action 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 is constantly moving everything is going on in each chapter it um switches from one character to another character it's two main characters riel and elena i think i don't i just read it and i can't remember her name but yeah, it goes between those. One is the Blood Queen, one is the Light Queen, and you gotta figure out who is who, and then you find out at the end. But the good thing about this author is that she knows how to write cliffhangers for each chapter and the ending of the book. Like, I wanted to keep reading because of those endings. Like, I, I had to know what was going to happen. The thing was, the pacing of this book was, it, it went so fast. Um, there was, like I said, constant, constant movement. Um, there was like no setbacks. There was no breaks. There was just 
constant going, but I didn't mind it. Like I said, I flew through this thing. It took me two days to read. Um, so I, I don't know what else to say about this, but I liked it. It was good. Like I said last vlog, I am a hopeless romantic, so I do like romance in books. If it's done right. Um, like, like, like I said, mature scenes were eh. But, I mean, if you like Sarah J. Mass, you'll like this. Okay, so I wanted to um, let you know about what Furyborn was first before I go into another book. Furyborn went on the topics for these readathons. Um, to all the readathon, to end all readathons, was read a fantasy book with a female main character, and that was for Furyborn, and that's for Rohan. And then for Fall into Fantasy Readathon, I wrote that down as a new series and multiple point of views. I don't know if I'm going to put it as um, an LGBTQ because there was some representation, but not like a bit. We get a very small glimpse, so I don't know if I'm going to count it yet because I have another book set for that category, but I'm iffy about it too because I read the reviews and there's not a lot going on in that category either. So it all depends on what I choose for when I read it. But the next book I'm going to read is Beasts Made of Night. Um, this is for a diverse fantasy. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I looked up diverse fantasy books and this popped up. So I'm going to go and start on this. Like I said, this is day two of the readathons. Day one of Fall into Fantasy, day two of two and all, the readathon, two and all readathons. That is a mouthful. Okay, bye. All right, so I had planned on filming a TBR video, but I sound like this and I can barely talk without coughing. Like right now, I'm getting ready to cough. Okay, so after that coughing fit is over, <clears throat> I am reading Beast Made of Night, and I love this book. Um, I really like Taj. Um, this is about sin eaters and the sin eaters go around and eat the sins of like the royals and stuff and just people who want to be sin free, which I understand wanting to be sin free, but having someone eat your sin and having them suffer your sin and have the mark that represents your sin on their body is just absolutely crazy. And I love what the author is doing. I read a review um, by him or for him or of him something and I love how he is trying to represent race and culture and um, different ideas into this book I love what he's doing and I am loving the book and I do hope his dream comes true that this becomes a movie because I think it is a very interesting take on sins and different cultures and something huge just happened to Taj and I just really hope he's going to be okay and makes it through and I just it's 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 so interesting like I like I said I think the author has done a really good job so far from what I've read and I would love to pick up the second book because of what I've already what I am reading I'm loving it's a very fast read for me anyways I'm reading it on ebook 39% of the way through I started it last night I tried to stay up and read but I was too tired so I am going to read as much as I can today and yeah that's it for now so i guess i will update you later hello i am signing off today i wanted to let you know my thoughts on beast made of night real quick i i enjoyed it but i ended up giving it three stars this book would have been so so much better if at least 100 to 200 more pages were added this was a very, very fast paced read. So much was going on and the pacing was a little off. Like we'd be in one place and then we'd be in the next place like really, really fast and we wouldn't see what was going on in between. And then there'd be characters showing up and half the time I'd be like, how in the heck did you get there? And then I'd have to go back and read and be like, oh yeah, there's where you got there. It's just, it was so fast. It was, it was weird, but it was good. And I wish... I wish we had more pages to this book. I wish he would have put more into this book. This still feels like a draft to me. I hate to say that, but this does feel like a, a draft, not ready to be published. But I mean, I'm glad it is because I got to read it. But at the same time, I wish there was so much more added to this book. Now, the ending was great. Um, it was There was kind of a plot twist at the end and you got to see what was going on. But the thing is, with his relationship with all the other characters, there wasn't a relationship. He 
fell in love with the princess so fast. I was like, how could you fall in love with the princess when you barely even know her and you didn't get to talk to her, but for a second. So, I mean, it's just, <laughs> there's a lot that went into this book that I wish was embellished so much more. Um, I do, I think I'm going to try to read the next book because I want to see what happens, but I do only give this three stars. I just wish there was so much more put into this book. So much more could have been added. And Furyborn, I read that and I gave it, what, f four stars? I can't remember. But yes, I read two books in four days. So that's great. <laughs> I am signing off. This is part one. I, I said I was only going to have two parts, but with the way it's looking and me reading and me talking more about these books, there's going to be at least probably four parts. I have no idea. It all depends. So this is going to be me updating about every few days. So that is rare and exciting for me and I hope for you too. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this part one of two readathons <laughs> and I will talk to you in the next vlog.